The following program is presented by Chick-fil-A and Bright Star Credit Union. Chaminade takes on Suncoast tonight on School Duel. to School Duel, where 20 high schools from Miami-Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach counties battle it out in an academic tournament for South Florida bragging rights. And of course, the winner gets to walk away with the school trophy from EDCO, a $1,000 check for each student courtesy of Bright Star Credit Union and Chick-fil-A, and of course, so much more. Now with that much at stake, let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the brackets for this week's game. As you see, the second round game matches the Shaman Madonna Lions versus the Suncoast Chargers in what is going to be quite a showdown. The winner between the two schools will be moving on to the third round. So let's hear it for our two schools. But wait, there's so much more because during the show, each student will compete in the Chick-fil-A challenge. Here, the student with the most correct answers throughout the show will win Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year. Sounds good? Yeah. All right, let's get started. Our first round is called the warning shot. Here at School Against School, competing with toss-up questions directed at the entire group. Each question is worth 10 points, and if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school gets one chance to steal the points. Alrighty, schools, prepare for the warning shots. First question deals with art supplies. Identify the type of paint less expensive and easier to clean up than oil paint. Yes, Lewis. Watercolor. Correct, good job. Moving along to legends. According to Indian legend, it was located in a land called Bimini. Name this legendary spring. Yes, Mark. The Fountain of Youth. Yes, correct. Good job. <laughs> Colleges. It's men's basketball coach finally won his first national championship in 2012. Name this Southern College whose men's basketball team is coached by former Memphis coach. Yes, Mark. Kentucky. Kentucky is correct. Good job. All right, we're moving along fastly. Next question deals with masters. This word originated in Latin and refers to a master of any art. Give this seven-letter word that comes from modern Italian and especially refers to an eminent composer, conductor, yes, Sanjay. Maestro. Maestro is correct. <laughs> moving along, here's a math question. You are playing a quiz bowl game with 24 questions. If each team has four players on it and everyone is of equal skill, how many questions would you expect to answer correctly during, Lewis? Three. Three is correct, good job. All right, slow foods. In some countries, it is served as an appetizer like escargot. Name this, Sanjay. Snail. Snail is correct, good job. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the where am I question. My contestants will be given a famous location and a clue, and then asked to tell us the name of the place being described. Is everyone ready? All right. Here we go. There's, a, there's only a 20-point difference in the game right now. So here is the where am I question. This was the site of Martin Luther King's famous I... Yes, Jimmy? The Lincoln Memorial. Correct. Good job. All right. The memorial also includes inscriptions of Lincoln's second inaugural address. Good job, Jimmy. All right. Moving along to movie stars. Identify the actress who played these characters. Maria in The Sound of Music and Jimmy? Julie Andrews. Correct. Good job. Next question deals with bones. It can support a tremendous amount of weight. Identify this largest bone. In yes, Chris. Beamer. Beamer is correct. Awesome. <laughs> Queens. Marietta, Ohio was named after what French queen who was famously Mark? Marie Antoinette. Correct. Good job. <laughs> All right. U.S. cities. The Jefferson National Expansion Memorial near where Lewis and Clark started their trip is located Sanjay. St. Louis. Correct. Awesome job. Next question deals with elements. Name the lightweight chemical element with atomic number 13, the most prevalent metal in Earth's crust that is often, yes, Chris? Aluminum. Aluminum is correct. And it's often recycled. All right. Football. The career leader in this category is still longtime Buffalo Bills defensive end Bruce Smith. 
give this football term for when a quarterback is tackled. Chris? Sack. A sack is correct. Good job. World geography. It has sunk about two feet since the early 1700s. Venice. Chandler, correct. Venice is correct. Moving along to a law question. Name for an agreement between two or more parties, especially one that is written and enforceable by law. Yes, Ilya? Contract. Contract is correct. Oh, and that buzzer means the end to the warning shot round. We do have Shamanan Madonna leading with 90 points. Suncoast has 60. Don't go anywhere because we'll be right back with more School Duel just after these messages. Win an iPad from School Duel and Bright Star Credit Union. It's easy. Go to schoolduel.tv. Submit the correct answer to the Bright Star question of the week, and you're automatically entered into the drawing to win an Apple iPad. You can also vote for the player of the game on schoolduel.tv. A new winner is announced each week based on your votes, and all votes lead to the top player of the season. Visit schoolduel.tv. Everyone is welcome to play and vote. Bright Star Credit Union, proud sponsor of School Duel on Beacon TV. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program. Encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships. To team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities. Demonstrate a solid work ethic and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. ended with Shamanan Madonna leading with 90 points. Suncoast has 60 points. Now before we begin their second round, let's go ahead and take a minute to meet this week's competitors from each school. Let's go ahead and start with the Shamanan Madonna Lions. Yeah! Welcome. Yeah! All right, let's start off with Jimmy. You are a senior. And Jimmy, what do you plan on doing as far as a career when you get older? I'm thinking of going into Political science. Good for you. All right, right next to you is Mark. And Mark, you're a junior. And what is your career choice? Uh, hopefully international affairs. Very nice. And next to you is Chris. Chris, you are a senior, very close to your career. What do you plan on doing? I'm thinking about becoming a lawyer. Good for you. All right. Last but not least, the captain of the Shaman Madonna's team is Chandler. And you are a senior. And what are your plans after high school? Possibly going to law. All right, you and Chris can open a firm together at some point, right? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and meet your competitors. They are the Suncoast Chargers. Welcome. <laughs> We're going to start off with Ilya. You're a senior, and tell me, what is your career choice? I'm interested in studying biology in college. I All would. right, very good. And next to you is Sanjay. You are a junior, and what are your plans? Uh, I intend to do something in the lines of astrophysics. Ooh, that sounds scary to me, <laughs> but interesting to you, right? Yep. All right, moving along. Shriyash is a junior, and what are your career choices? I'm thinking of going into business. That's great. And the captain of Suncoast's team is Lewis. Lewis, you are a senior, almost out of there. So what do you plan on doing for a career? I hope to be an entrepreneur in the field of computer engineering. Very good. All right, sounds like a great bunch of young men here. Welcome to both teams. Thank you for being here. Now that we know... <laughs> And now that we know everyone, let's go ahead and move on to round two, the joust. Here one player from each school competes head-to-head -head with a 10-point toss-up question. The player that wins then gets three bonus questions with their school. The questions are worth five and then 10 and then 15 points. All right, schools, are you ready? Yeah! All right. You sound ready. It's time to joust. Chandler, Lewis, come on down. Gentlemen, here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. To avoid bad luck, people will sometimes say... Yes, Lewis? Break a leg. Incorrect. Chandler, listen carefully. To avoid bad luck, people will sometimes say, knock on blank, what common material contained in trees? Yes, Chandler? Wood. Wood is correct. Good job. All right, Shamanan Madonna, the following bonus questions deal with idioms. Bonus question number one is worth five points. If you're willing to do something immediately, you would do it at the drop of what? 
Yes, Jimmy. A pin? Incorrect. That would be a hat. And bonus question number two is worth 10 points. To hit this means, quote, to go to bed. Mark. The sack? Yes, good job. And your third bonus question is worth 15 points. To describe that a visual representation is far more descriptive, what does a picture paint? <laughs> Judges? Okay, we're gonna go with Chandler since you're the captain. A story? Correct. That would be a thousand words. A picture paints a thousand words. Shriyash and Chris, come on down. It is your turn to joust. <laughs> oh, nice friendly handshake there. Gentlemen, here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. They are a major player in the Earth's ecosystem. Name this flying insect with types that include bumble and honey. Yes, Chris. Bees. Bees is correct. Good job. <laughs> Shaman on Madonna, the following bonus questions all deal with insects. Bonus question number one is worth five points. Its types include army, carpenter, and fire. Mark? Ants. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Bonus question number two worth ten points. This insect's types include tiger, swallowtail, and monarch. Jimmy. Butterfly. Yes, butterfly. <laughs> Your third bonus question worth 15 points. Gentlemen, of all the animal species on the planet, 25% are this type of insect. Mark. Mosquitoes? Incorrect. That would be beetles. All right, Mark, Sanjay, come on down. It is your turn to joust. Here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. What exactly was prohibited during Prohibition? Yes, Sanjay? Alcohol. Yes, good job, Santos. Here you go. The following bonus questions all deal with the Prohibition. Bonus question number one, again, is worth five points. The lack of popular consensus, consensus over prohibition led to the growth of vast criminal organizations, including a predominantly Italian-American one. Yes, Louis? The Mafia. Correct. Known as the Mafia. <laughs> Bonus question number two is worth 10 points. The majority of prohibition took place during which decade? Sanjay. The 1920s. Yes, good job. And your third bonus question is worth 15 points. Which constitutional amendment ended America's prohibition era? Sanjay. The 21st Amendment. Good job. Awesome. Elia, Jimmy, come on down. It is your turn to joust. <laughs> Gentlemen, your toss-up question is worth 10 points. This Italian painter created the most reproduced religious painting of all time, entitled The Last Supper. Yes, Jimmy. Leonardo da Vinci. Yes, good job. <laughs> Shamana Madonna, here are your bonus questions, which all deal with Leonardo da Vinci. Bonus question number one is worth five points. Leonardo also created this half-length portrait of a woman that has been referred to, Mark. The Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa, yes. Correct. <laughs> bonus question number two is worth 10 points. Known for his technological ingenuity, it is believed he conceptualized this type of aircraft. Yes, Chandler. Helicopter. Helicopter is correct. Good job. <laughs> and your third bonus question worth 15 points. What is the title of Dan Brown's best-selling Who Done It? Yes. The Da Vinci Mark. Code. The Da Vinci Code is correct. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, that buzzer means the end to the joust. We do have Shaman and Madonna holding on to their lead with 175 points. Suncoast has 100 points, but again, it can be anyone's game. So we'll be right back with more school duel just after these messages. <laughs> Are you interested in learning about TV production? Be a part of the Briar Teen News Team, South Florida's only team-produced news show. Experience working at an actual TV station while learning on state-of-the-art digital equipment. We offer positions in everything from studio crew to school reporter. And for the more experienced students, we offer advanced credits as part of our internship program. If you're a student in Broward and you want to be a part of our team, then we've got a spot for you. For more information, go to www.browardteennews.org and click on Join Our Team. Have you considered taking your high school courses online? Broward County Schools offers free virtual education for middle and high school. Courses include regular, honors, and advanced placement in all subject areas. Take one course or take a full course load all online. Broward Virtual Education welcomes homeschool and private school students. For more information or to enroll, call us at 754-321-1100 or visit us online at www.bved.net while there's still space available. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. And welcome back to School Duel.
Duel, where local high schools match wits to see who will be this year's school duel champion. Now, this second round match has Shamada Madonna competing against Suncoast. We do have Shamada leading with 175 points. Suncoast has 100 points. We're now ready for the rapid fire round. Here, each school will pick a category. They will then try to answer 10 questions within 60 seconds from that given category. Each question is worth 10 points. The other school will get a chance to steal any missed questions. Now, since Suncoast is trailing, they will have the opportunity to pick their category first. Today's choices are starts with N and ends in T-O-R. So, which category would you like, Suncoast? Starts with N, please. Starts with N. All right, gentlemen. Well, here comes rapid fire. All right, Senko starts with N in this category. The answer contains a word that starts with the letter N. Remember, you have 60 seconds to answer each question worth 10 points. I will, don't wait for me to call your name. Just buzz in and then answer, okay? So we can get through everything. And cue music, let's begin. To put someone else's name forward for a political office. Nominate. Company known for providing DVD rentals through the mail. Netflix. One billionth of a second. Nanosecond. U.S. President between Lyndon Johnson and Gerald Ford. Nixon. Favoritism shown to a relative regardless of merit. Nepotism. Two word name for these. Mary had a little lamb and Jack be nimble. Nursery rhymes. Name for a police officer's club that fits the category. Grunge rock band that shares its name with a term. Nirvana. Nirvana. Commercial, spread, commercial spread containing hazelnut and cocoa. Nutella. Golfer nicknamed the Golden Bear. Necklace. Very good. We got through all your questions, Suncoast. You only missed one question, Shamadan Madonna. This is the question they missed. Let's see if you can answer it correctly. Name for a police officer's club that fits the category. Chandler. Nightstick. Correct. Good job. You just took 10 points. All right, let's go ahead, Shamadan Madonna, and get to your category. It is end in tour, T O R. In this category, the answer contains a word that ends with the letters T-O-R. Remember, you have 60 seconds to answer these questions worth 10 points each. Whatever you miss, Suncoast will get to answer. Okay, cue music and let's begin. A computer screen. Monitor. Number above the line of a fraction. Numerator. One who pilots an airplane. Aviator. Person who makes figures by carving, molding, or casting. Sculptor. Common name for a physician? Doctor. A person who owes something to another person? Debtor. In Congress, one of these serves for six years. Senator. Device that converts mechanical energy to electrical energy. Generator. A person that brings something into being. Creator. A person who exercises absolute authority over a country's government. Dictator. All right, good job, gentlemen. You got and you cleaned house. So there are no questions to ask you, Suncoast, because they got all of theirs right. And that brings the end to the rapid fire round. We do have Shamadon still holding on to their lead of 285 points. Suncoast has 190 points. But let's go ahead and take a short break, and then we'll be back for the final showdown. <laughs> In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program, encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships to team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities, demonstrate a solid work ethic, and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Improve your money skills with Bright Star University. At Bright Star University, people of all ages can log in to learn more about finances. Just choose your age-specific category and pick from a collection of interactive financial topics, including the Visa Financial Football Game, where your team scores by answering money management questions. Just go to www.brightstaru.com. Bright Star University is brought to you by Bright Star Credit Union, proud sponsor of School Duel on Beacon TV. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. And we're back with more School Duel.
all just for you. We've got a good second round match going as Shamadon Madonna clings to its lead over Suncoast. The score right now, 285 to 190. It is now time for the final showdown. This is the last round. Schools will go against each other with toss-up questions, but this time these questions are now worth 20 points each. And remember, if a question is incorrect, the other school can steal the points. All right, schools, are you ready? Yeah! Good, because it is time for the final showdown. First question deals with legal documents. What document issued by a judicial official directs a law enforcement officer to arrest an individual? Lewis? Warrant? Yes. Holidays. Two word name for the day after Christmas in Canada. Lewis. Boxing Day. Government. The Food Safety and Inspection Service is among the agencies of what cabinet department that tries to safeguard and grow America's food supply? Mark? Agriculture. Good. Animals. What common animal is called a shaw in French and a gato in Spanish? Mark? Cat. Parks. Photographer Ansel Adams took many pictures of Half Dome, a landmark in what California National Park? Chandler? Yosemite. Mm -hmm. Football. Name the NFL team long coached by George Hallis, once starred Walter Payton, and coached by yes, the Chicago Chris. Bears. Chris, very good. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for the Who Am I question, brought to you by Hungry Howie's in Davie and Hollywood. In this question, my contestants will be given up to four clues about a famous person and asked to tell us his or her name. Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right. Here goes, who am I? Characters in the play where he appears include Queen Gertrude and King Claudius. Ha Chandler? Hamlet. Hamlet is correct, yeah! good job. Next question deals with actors. The iconic deep voice of James Earl Jones provides the voice of this character in the original, Sanjay? Darth Vader. Darth Vader is correct. <laughs> Rounding, round point four three eight two to the nearest hundredth. Lewis? Point four three, er, point four four. Yes, correct. Good job. <laughs> bankruptcy. Solar energy firm that declared bankruptcy in 2011 after 500. Ilya? Solyndra. Yes, very good. <laughs> U.S. history. During the 1930s, give the two word term for the. Yes, Sanjay. The Great Depression. Incorrect. Shamanad, this question is yours. During the 1930s, give the two word term for the area of Middle America that suffered a drought and caused thousands. Mark? The, the Dust Bowl? Yes. <laughs> Newspapers. Name this major newspaper that can be subscribed to by calling 1-800-WSJ-2206. Mark? The Wall Street Journal. Yes. <laughs> Gaming. The popular GameCube and Wii video game systems are made by what company, Mark? Nintendo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Civil War. Name the Union General who accepted... Yes, U Sanjay? Ulysses S. Grant. Yes, good job. <laughs> Spelling. Someone who worries about everything might be called neurotic. Spell neurotic. Sanjay? N-E-U-R-O-T-I-C. Yes. Next question deals with business. Its ads in 2011 called it more car than electric. Name this model of electric car made by Chevrolet. Lewis. Volt. Yes. <laughs> Words. It is the amount of money you pay to a health insurance or life insurance. Ilya. Premium. Yes. <laughs> Television. It has been blamed for skewing the real estate market and convincing realtors that everyone likes neutral colors, stainless steel appliances, and granite countertops. Name this television channel whose shows include House Hunters. Yes, Mark? HGTV. Yes. Good job. <laughs> ben Franklin. Ben Franklin once said, quote, I wish the bald eagle were not the representative of our country. Lewis? Turkey. Turkey is correct. That's what he wanted. And that buzzer brings the end to this second round school duel match. Exciting, exciting game. Shaman Madonna winning this game with 465 points over Suncoast, who's ending with 390 points. Suncoast, congratulations to you guys. You are our defending champions from season two. So we're so happy to have you here. Good run. But congratulations, Shaman Madonna. This win actually puts you in the third round. So congratulations, gentlemen. Yeah! And obviously. Great job to everyone. It also brings an end to the Chick-fil-A challenge. And today's winner is, drum roll please, Mark from Shamanah Madonna. Yeah! <laughs>
Congratulations, Mark, on your Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for a year. At this time, we'd like to thank all of our sponsors for making School Duel possible, and of course, you at home for watching. Don't forget to check out our website at schoolduel.tv, where you can have a chance to win an Apple iPad courtesy of Bright Star Credit Union. And please make sure that you tune in next week to School Duel at 7 p.m. Thursday night as Cypress Bay High takes on Western High in our first third round match. Good night, everyone. <laughs>